guys my name is Mighty Balls today um, I'm going to show you how to do light tank 15 on Malinovka um, you can do this on a few maps Provorovka, Malinovka, uh, the old Red Shire um, unfortunately 1.10 is um, removed that um, you could even do this on um, Stralingrad uh, it's more aggressive um, right, I'm going to show you a bush where you can get into it's a bit risky um, you need to follow this direction uh, make sure you go through all the bushes on the way so your tank is spotted because um, if your tank is spotted you will dive in seconds trust me so um, I've uh, let, let the team know that I'll uh, be going to this bush and spotting it one these are all my spots I'll light up the whole team just about um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tanks. Nine tanks. Um, a couple of ones already been destroyed. Yag Tiger. Straight away, that's uh, 1,700 um, assisted damage, I believe. So at this point, there's 22,850 um, hit points left in the game. I let everyone know that I would like this person dead as I am spotting him. Um, I'll take a quick look around. Now, the art of um, spotting, it's nothing special. You don't have to be a unicorn or anything like that. Camp Bush for the LT-15. Uh, 8,000 spotting I'm needed uh, for this mission. And all I'm doing is sitting in the bush. I'm t I keep poking my targets, telling people to please uh, hit them so request and fire at this 263 you got hit once hugely by the RT the RT just fires and hits him again so straight away that's nearly two th well 1500 uh, points right there so at the moment I'm probably at about two and a half three thousand um, the hit points have gone from 22,000 to 19,000 and dropping so far, everyone who's getting hit at the moment is my spots, which is quite nice. Um, I'm still asking all these people to hit that guy, but unfortunately, he gets out of my spotting distance. He must have a good crew, or at least a good camo crew. So at this point, I'm, I'm thinking mm, 3,000, only another 5,000. I'll camp this bush for a bit longer because it seems to be that no one's daring to progress uh, since I've spotted them all at the beginning they, they've all thought so that I'm not going up I'm going to camp bush, uh, camp base which is quite nice for me because my team isn't the brightest to be fair when it comes to shooting targets I'm spotting or else we wouldn't be 2-1 down right this second um, we're getting a few nice hits on them people though um, the thing what does annoy me is this uh, M46 pattern seems to stay alive the whole game. Even though I keep him lit the whole game. So anyway, the hardest point about this mission is getting to this bush. As soon as you're in this bush, you'll notice that no, no tanks can spot me, even though they're only two squares away. The one thing you should not do, and I, I, I say this vigorously, is don't shoot at your opponents. If you if you shoot, you will get spotted and you will die within seconds. With a 183, E100, 230, Yag Tiger, even a T49, if I'm unlucky, can one shot me. Uh, the M46 pattern will definitely two shot me, uh, three shot me, so I say. Two shots if he rolls amazingly high on two shots. Um, so at this point, I'm thinking, hmm. Maybe 4k is mine, so I've got another 4k left. I'm getting a little bit anxious as no one's really hitting my spots. All of these are mine, and they seem to be getting away scot free. Uh, especially this M48 pattern. He's been lit up now for what, two minutes roughly, I'd say? And he's only had what, 500 hit points off him? So now I spot uh, E100, I flag for him, and as I flag for him, he goes invisible. Um, the 183 I then signal for him to be shot and luckily for us 
people oblige <laughs> and hit, hit nearly a thousand off him. So the T49's had enough, he's fed up being spotted, he decides to run. Um, which I don't blame him because this position is so OP. If you can get to this bush, you will light up everyone. Now the problem with this bush is other tanks, light tanks, will try to rush towards you to do exactly the same thing you're doing, but from the other side. Now that's a huge problem because your camo is good, but it's not amazing where they're within 1,000, uh, not 1,000, sorry, one square. Um, a light tank will probably spot you uh, in a bush or not. <coughs> so this pattern's had enough, and to be fair, I've had enough of him. No one seems to want to shoot him or can shoot him. So anyway, the M48 pattern makes a, a new arrival coming straight across. Um, at this point, the other team are starting to call our team a hacker because they can't seem to stop getting spotted and stop getting hit. Uh, the 263 has turned around and says we're hacking. There's no way he's spotted. We, we can't be blind firing, so we're all cheating. Um, no, Mr. 263. You're just spotted. <laughs> I mean, the only players that haven't been spotted are two artillery, and we all know they're going to be JK0. <coughs> so, at this point, I'm thinking, shall I move up? Purely because most people I've spotted will, will be out of render distance. Maybe the 283 or the 100 might not be. Um, the, two, uh, the pattern comes into my render range again. And he uh, seems to have hit a few snags on his tank, which is nice to see. The E100 moves again, so does the 263. Again, my spots, and again, they're um, about to find out the full wrath of the RT. As you see, this 263 gets hit blind, I believe, in a minute, because he comes back. Um, oh, there you go. <laughs> But that wasn't by RT, I don't think. It might have been by the Yak Tigers HE. There's the RT shot. So it, it, it is um, taking them down bit by bit. I've probably got about five to 6,000 um, assisted damage now. <coughs> so at this point, I am seriously thinking about moving forward because at one point, passive scouting will only take you so far. Um, I will suggest passive scouting for the first half aggressive for the la latter. Um, the only problem with that, a uh, good shot there by the RT taking out the 183. Anyway, uh, the only one, uh, bad point about that is the fact that you might die and I need this with honours because I do not play RT. Um, so I need this mission with honours and I've already done this mission three times before but with no honours. Um, I would say I'm pretty close to getting my achievement now. Um, I just don't want to die, basically. So at this point, my team is asking me to go and spot further. Um, I say no, because <laughs> if I move, I will get spotted. I will spot further in the future, in the later part of the game, in a two or three minutes or so. So at this point, I'm thinking yes I'm gonna go but then I spot this tank and it scared me a little bit because one shot from him and I'm dead
I've decided I've had enough. Most of the tanks are, I've um, seen are about dead. So I'm going to start pushing forward. At this point I'm thinking, do I go left or do I go right? Do I risk myself with the E100 or do I <laughs> risk myself with the FV215B? I decide I'm not going to go left, I'm not going to go right, I'm going to go straight on. I ping, I let the, them know that the E100's there, please protect me. Uh, I'm going to progress forward and hopefully light some tanks up. Now at this point I'm staying near bushes, I don't want to get spotted. My, my whole ga gameplay here is to keep hidden. Um, I go up on this bank and accidentally spot the Jagdager. How he didn't spot me I don't know. He must have a severely poor crew. So at this point now, we've won the game. It's simple. We have easily won this game. So I'll go forward to try and look uh, for the E100. Um, I spot the E100. He doesn't spot me, luckily. I'll stay here. Now, everyone's starting to progress forward. Soon they're going to be spotting him themselves. So I've decided I'm going to start to track the guy. Well, I assist, uh, assisted damage. So I'm going to go back to the tracking for a second. I'm keeping him tracked. Waiting for him to look the other way. I see he's not looking my way, so I try and track him again. I keep him tracked. I've got a circle and I finish him off. So let's take a look at the replay statistics. So this was an ace tanker. I did uh, 12,922 spotting. Uh, most of these tanks, especially that E100 with full health, as you can see I've done the missions uh, with honours, which is quite nice. Um, a few of these tanks uh, did a few of my damage, which I noticed, like this tortoise, good shout out, as well as the master killer, no object 140. I did 1,399 base experience with only 202 damage. I made 62,305 profit with only 19,000 on consumables. I also did 2,098 experience after premium account. Um, and here's my recommendation for completing my mission. So this was the LT15 mission. I hope you enjoyed the mission um, as much as I did getting it, which I'm sure you didn't because to be fair, it's quite boring camping bush. But I hope you learnt a lot about it. If you did, please like and subscribe.